Good day, ladies and genitals. Chainlink is breaking out bullishly. In this video, I'm gonna run through some tactical analysis, uh, talk about what I see happening, both short-term and long-term. So if you like the sound of that, please like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell icon to notify the new uploads. Because folks, we've been talking about Chainlink for a while. I was making videos here, talking about once we broke out of the several month long descending triangle, we were likely to explode and look what happened. We've had a massive, massive run up with Chainlink. So you have to stay tuned to the channel. Look at that, nearly 90% run up we've had ever since we broke out and I was making videos talking about this breakout. You have to stay tuned folks. And now we seem to be breaking out extremely bullishly. We made a new all-time high, even though we're correcting for the moment. We did make a new all-time high. We did a break past these previous peaks and uh, a, a fib, uh, one of our fib levels here, which is extremely bullish to see. So, folks, if we take the height of this ascending triangle and move it to the breakout point, could we see a $38 chain link? I definitely think, think so. $30 to $39, I think, is kind of our next impulse here. You know, our fib level is here, and if we take the height, move it here, uh, it lines up right around these ranges. So I don't think we'll have a straight line up there, folks, because um, uh, a few reasons. If we take these peaks here and we extend that, uh, we're very likely to find some resistance. Uh, you know, $30, $29. We have some fib levels there too. So I wouldn't expect the impulse up to like $39, $38 to be like a straight line there because we, you know, we're likely to find a pause, find some resistance in these regions. But is, is $38 kind of in the midterm, uh, you know, a few weeks, maybe a few months or two? Uh, is that reasonable? I definitely, definitely think so. Folks, we, we broke out of this pattern. We just made a new high. Uh, we, we're tracing for the moment, but I think it's just a matter of time before we see bullish continuation. And folks, um, Understanding what Chainlink is doing is extremely interesting because Chainlink led the altcoin rally back in August. So the fact that Chainlink is pumping now, making new all-time highs, is is telling of things to come. Now, um, in terms of where I would be personally looking to accumulate uh, Chainlink, if Chainlink fell to 2450 to 20. 150, that's where I would personally be looking to accumulate uh, Chainlink. I mean, there's always there's. There's no guarantee that we fall back down that low, and there's no guarantee that if we fall to these levels that we won't keep falling further. But I think over the long term, Chainlink has a very good chance of performing very well. Uh, so that is, you know, that's where I would be looking to accumulate Chainlink. But again, there's no guarantee that we fall back down to these levels. We could just fall back down to, to this this peak here and, and, and keep pumping, or this breakout point here at kind of $26 and then keep pumping. Uh, something like that is definitely a possibility as well uh if anything further interesting happens with chainlink we'll definitely be talking about on this channel you guys gotta stay tuned like subscribe all that good stuff check out our discord group link down in the description below as well check out our patreon folks uh yeah if, if you join our patreon you get a uh, special perks our, our uh, special VIP uh, Discord exclusive group as well for certain tiers. And we'll be giving away a hardware wallet to, randomly to one of the first 100 people who join our Patreon. So links for that will be down in the description below. Now, kind of talking about my long-term price predictions for Chainlink. Um, I don't know for sure, guys, how far, how high Chainlink is going to go. Nobody knows for sure. But... If, can we extrapolate kind of based off market caps? Okay, if Bitcoin goes low hundreds of thousands, Ethereum goes to, you know, somewhere in the tens of thousands, could Chainlink go to the, you know, low hundreds of dollars, one, two, three hundred dollars for Chainlink? I definitely think something like that. While not a guarantee, absolutely not. Is it plausible? Is, is it a, a likely potential? I do think so by the peak of this bull run. I think Bitcoin is likely to reach its peak sometime September, October this year, and Chainlink and the altcoins are likely to reach their peak sometime a, a month after Bitcoin, I'm basing that off the fact that Ethereum and the altcoins reached their peak uh, roughly a month after Bitcoin during the last bull run back in 2017, 2018. So that's what I'm basing that off of. So uh, th uh, the strategy that, that I uh, would hope people consider, again, I'm not a financial advisor, these videos are not financial advice, but this is what I'm doing, is I'm gonna be looking to scaling out, uh, to be scaling out slowly over time around when the bull run is likely to reach its peak. So I'll be scaling out, you know, sometime late third quarter, early fourth quarter of 2021. And I highly consider uh, everyone consider such a strategy because nobody knows when the bull run is going to end absolutely for sure. But do we have some indicators that are pointing towards uh, the bull run ending around that time? I, I do think so. And so if you scale out, you know, a few months leading up to where the bull run is likely supposed to end, I think that is the best strategy for maximizing profits. So, folks, if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell, like, I'm notified of new uploads. Thank you for watching, and take care.